This is your Fox 10 News Now update. Hi everyone, I'm Monique Lagan with your Fox and News Now update. A mobile neurosurgeon charged with manslaughter and a crash that killed a medical student appearing in court today for a preliminary hearing on that case. Dr. Jonathan Nakla posting bail. The passenger in that vehicle, 24 year old Samantha Thomas, was killed. She was a medical student at the University of South Alabama. Police say the crash happened on West I-65 Service Road the morning of August 1st. Court documents show investigators believe Nakla was driving 138 miles an hour at the time of the crash. This morning, a district court judge ruling there was probable cause to send that case to a grand jury. Now, last week, the family of Samantha Thomas filing a lawsuit against the doctor, a civil complaint alleging Nakla drank multiple alcoholic beverages and quote boosted that because he had been issued a physician card by the police department, he could escape responsibility for driving in violation of the law. Well, Bill, homicide detectives working double time after two separate deadly shootings within 12 hours of each other, one of them involving a teenager. This was a scene at DIP and McVeigh at around 8 o'clock last night. Mobile police say 35 year old Quintez Pryor was inside a black vehicle riddled with bullet holes. The driver side of the tires also shot out. He died at the scene. Police say a 16 year old riding in the car with his grandmother at the time in that area of the shooting when a bullet came through the back door and hit him. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to be OK. No word yet on who police are looking for in connection to this crime. Now earlier in the day at around 1030, 23 year old Troy Xavier Rhodes was gunned down on Colonial Oaks Drive. So far, no arrests or persons of interest named in that homicide. If you know anything, of course, call Mobile Police. All right, Chickasaw City Schools have been in session for about a week now, so how's it going? A school superintendent saying they are changing the rules regarding virtual learning. Initially, if you signed up for virtual school, you had to wait until the end of the semester if you wanted to switch back to in-person classroom learning. But students are struggling now, so parents and students have until September 15th to make that switch back if they want. But as the school year gets underway, some high school football games are being canceled. And yes, COVID-19 is to blame. First Baldwin County High School, now Orange Beach and Gulf Shores, pulling the plug on Friday night games this week because of possible COVID cases. Gulf Shores head coach saying around 10 players were exposed, some showing symptoms, but no test results to confirm it's COVID. Orange Beach school leaders being vague on how many football players could have the virus. They are waiting on test results to make a decision on whether the games will be canceled there too. Okay, tracking conditions across the area as we look at temperatures and we're sitting into the 90s across the Gulf Coast this afternoon. Plenty of heat and some humidity to go around. Heat index is a roasty 106. We've got a pretty quiet scene on radar. Tropically, we keep racing through our list of names A record breaking season. We're now working on Nana and Omar. Here's an update on those features. Got uh, Omar up here near Bermuda, Nana down in the Caribbean and then two waves out in the Atlantic. Those have a ways to go before they get organized. We'll keep watching. Looks like Omar's weaker. It is a tropical depression. It's getting sheared apart here. It's headed east at 14. May not hold together a whole lot longer. It should be post tropical by Thursday. Then looking down here to the south, Nana's going to make landfall as a tropical storm in Belize. It's moving west at 15. It could be moving ashore late tonight or early tomorrow and the track brings it inland over Central America, so it's not going to end up in the Gulf of Mexico. Temperatures around 93 tomorrow afternoon. Looking ahead, the peak of the heat wave will be Friday through Saturday. We will see the upper height starting to back off a little as we head into the weekend, and that will get our temperatures down to 92 Sunday. Labor Day 90 next week. Highs in the 80s as it starts to turn a little more September like. Could be a little unsettled with the showers too next week. Stay tuned to Fox 10 News throughout the day for the latest updates. This has been your Fox 10 News Now update.